You are now tuned in to Power Podcasts, the Empower Hour. Peace and blessings, beautiful souls. I am Brandy L. Bates, author of Moonshine for the Soul, The Art of Grind, and many other books. I'll be your host for tonight. You can find me on Twitter at Soledad Francis and on Instagram at Brandy is Winning. Most of these podcasts can be found archived on YouTube. Hashtag Power Podcasts, but please listen to them while they still have all of their spirit and vitality by subscribing to us on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and or brandybates.podomatic.com. Boston. It's still upgrade season. It's still upgrade season. But we are going into this next season. Bossed up. We're already in Age of Aquarius. We've already survived the, the, the shift. I'm talking... Worry-free finances, never-ending harvest, and good and plenty. Good and plenty. This year is the year of success. 2022, fully charged, bossed up, the year of success. I'm talking bossed all the way the fuck up. All the way up. This is about vibrating so motherfucking high, so pristine and impeccable and beautiful and classy and at such a heightened awareness in thought, word, and transaction that toxic, broke, crybaby ass energies in your life disappear because they no longer know how to approach you. They no longer know how to approach you. Right? That's what I'm on. That's what I'm talking about today. That's who I'm talking to today. Sky's the limit. In real life. In real life. Real time. Real talk. Not even the sky is the limit, right? Because motherfuckers are on the moon, going to Mars. New species are being discovered every day. It seems every couple of months we're hearing about NASA discovering new distant habitable planets, right? I'm, I'm talking real life. Real life. This is a rare air time. This is a rare air time. Affirm. Say to yourself. These are just some of the things that I have on my vision board. That I have on my altar. Right? I'm rich as I've ever been. I'm rich as I've ever been. And you know what? I really am. (laughs) I really am. Rich in spirit. Rich in peace, rich in happiness, rich in freedom, rich in serenity, rich in experience, rich in love. Money making opportunities always, always come to me, right? Personally, I'm at a point where I know that I know that I know that I know that I know You follow me? I know that I know that I know. There is nothing I cannot do, be, or have in this life. Okay? I I always like to remind people. At this stage in the game. I've survived some of the worst inner city violence and hood shit you could imagine. Seeing crackheads. 
high speed car ch uh, police chases motherfucking uh, narcotics division drawing down on the block the riots looting murder I've buried both my parents I've buried both of my parents do you understand how that rips your heart from your carbon meat suit? Do you understand how that rips the fabric of your fucking existence? Do you hear me? Do you understand? I scaled a business during a global pandemic. Some shit I never would have thought you could have told me 20 years ago that was even possible. Because I was believing what everybody else was telling me. Listening to everybody else's limitations. You can't tell me shit. In 2022. Because when it comes to my spiritual world. And reality. And existence. And what I live. Day in and day out. I'm an alchemist. And I don't say that to shit on anybody. Or, you know, to make you feel a way. Because really it's not even about you. But I'm saying that because I'm using my back as a bridge. I'm saying you will have to go through some things, right? You will have to go through some shit. You will have to experience some things at a deeper, darker, sometimes even more sinister depth to get to your goal. That's what I'm saying. To boss up. And, and, and bossing up can mean going back to school, getting, getting your degree. It can mean finishing a book that you started. It can mean finally getting on your weight loss journey and really like, really getting that motherfucker and go ham, right? And just get fine, get fine, like consistency, right? Just do it and watch what happens. Just when you, because when you start seeing the results, you're like, oh shit, right? And so once you start seeing the results, it becomes a habit and it becomes addictive because you see that you're controlling that you're controlling the output to boss up. Bosses stroke checks. It means you take full responsibility for others, for someone outside of yourself. For some, for some, some people's bi-weekly check. Really depends on you making the right moves and executing for some bosses, right? Hello? Do you hear me? It means you are the chief cook and bottle washer. You're where the buck stops. And that comes with a different kind of pressure and stress. And I'm 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 here to tell you today that the higher you want to go, the lower you'll have to experience. The lower, darker depression sometimes the, the 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 you gotta be able to handle motherfuckers talking shit about you you gotta be able to handle people suing you you gotta be able to handle people throwing daggers and putting swords in your back you gotta be able to withstand betrayal you gotta be able to withstand sacrifice sometimes sacrificing things that mean a lot to you Sometimes sacrificing relationships, sacrificing a lifestyle that could have been, it comes no other way. It comes no other way. And ironically enough, when you make peace with the fact that the purpose of life is not happiness, but rather experience and growth, happiness comes as a natural motherfucking byproduct. You feel me? When you are not seeking it as the objective, it'll find its way to you. It's kind of like, when you don't chase, they'll come to you. When you don't focus on squeezing and controlling and holding and possessing and grabbing and grasping and clinging, it just naturally flows to you. And you love it and you enjoy it and you experience it and you release it. Nothing is innately ever yours. It's your turn. No storm ever lasts. 
seasons are here to remind us that this too shall pass like things are always in flux Confucius said great man great man Confucius Confucius said he who learns but does not think is lost he who thinks but does not learn is in great danger Confucius what do you need to learn what is it Taking you forever to fucking learn. Because if you keep failing the exam, you keep repeating the program, the course, and it becomes this holding pattern of you getting to a certain height and a certain level and a certain elevation. But if you don't adjust your fucking wings and you don't adjust your breathing for the pressure, you're going to fail. You're going to sink. You're going to drown. And until you learn how to beat the dragon, you got to keep repeating the fucking board. Growth is painful. Change is painful. But nothing is as painful as staying stuck somewhere you don't belong. If you enjoy road trips, right? You into you you need shrimp and lobster. You like to step out and be suited and booted and motherfucking draped up and dripped out, right? You need to be with someone who enjoys those things, who enjoys those road trips and enjoys being draped up and dripped out and enjoys being suited and booted. You like designer? Be with someone who loves designer. If you trying to boss up, you're trying to elevate you want a bigger house. You want a bigger bank account. You want more land. You want more businesses. You want more Bitcoin. You want more investments in your portfolio. You want more figures. That you're generating. That you're touching. And experiencing. And seeing and using. And allowing the flow. And if you're exchanging sacred energy with somebody who isn't interested in those things, they're not interested in bossing up. All they're interested in is having a good time, feeling good temporarily. You'll stay stuck because you're going to stay stuck in the holding pattern of everybody that's in your periphery and in your radius. So whatever environment you're in is going to color you. It's going to paint you. It's going to it's going to soak up a little bit. You're going to take on a lot of that energy and consciousness and oftentimes attitudes unfortunately. So that's why it's very important to be careful who you are spending your predominant time around. You might love them but you know who the motherfuckers are that's messy. You know who the ones they always miserable. They're depressed. They're on drugs. They're struggling. They keep getting beat down. They keep being in relationships where they just keep getting shit on. They just can't get a break, right? Love them from a distance because I'm telling you. The more time you're spending around these different types of energies that are not where you're trying to be. It's, gonna, it's easier to pull you down and sink you down into that than it is to be brought up. Because you cannot go any higher than what you've experienced or, or seen, tasted, touched, realized, noticed, observed, right? You'll stay stuck. Kazumi Tabata. Kazumi Tabata. In his book, Secret Tactics, Lessons from the Great Masters of Martial Arts, he said nine principles, never have a wicked heart. This is good stuff. Train not by thought, but by practice. Get in the fucking field and do it. After a certain amount of time, you can't be reading that shit. You got to experience it. Do it. Breathe it. Touch it. Taste it. Feel it. Get wet. Right? Fall down. Learn a wide variety of arts and skills, he said, 
and do not fix only on one. Do not fix only on one. Know not only your own techniques, but also those of many others. Find out rationally what is an advantage and what is a disadvantage. Know yourself, know your strengths, right? Foster an intuitive ability to judge all things. Feel an essence that you cannot see on the surface. Pay attention to the very smallest of phenomena. Everything takes its own course. And sometimes, sometimes we get unexpected results. Do nothing in vain for the energy and time we have is limited. Kazumi Tabata. Do nothing in vain for the energy and time we have is limited. Let's talk about emotional scaffolding. You know, grass is always greener on the other side. It's always greener. We always want what we don't have. We always want to be where we are not, right? Married people miss their single days. They miss their single days. Single people, longing after the so-called picket fence, right? The two income, family, marriage, right? The date nights, the people who don't have any money, they just long after the idea of winning a lottery and just having things suddenly. People who have curly hair, they want to, you know, they want to play with straight hair. Everybody wants what they don't have. We are always looking after what we don't possess. There's a psychological reason for that. Because as humans, we always yearn for what we don't have or where we are not. Um, and for a lot of us, our emotional scaffolding, our emotional scaffolding is being reconstructed. A lot of us have been holding on to old realities, old dated versions of ourselves, outdated beliefs, outdated beliefs, outdated ways of being and ways of thinking are holding you back. How long have you been holding on to a smaller version of yourself? There's where you could be and there's where you are. You could be so much further along in this thing, is what I'm saying to you. This is about having the highest standards for yourself. Cater to you. Advance you. Take care of your physical. If that means getting back in the motherfucking gym, going running, running laps around the neighborhood, run up and down your street, the driveway, if it means Going back to doing your green smoothies in the morning, waking up four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, right? Drinking your water, taking your gallon of water to work, whatever you need to do. Take care of your physical. You know if you drinking too much, smoking too much, turning up too much. You know if you eating bullshit. You know if you're not exercising. Your time is limited, baby. I'm telling you, your time is limited. Your time is limited. Your time is limited. You're going to look up. We'll be in 2023, 2024. We'll look up. 10 years ago feels like yesterday to me. Right? Guess what happens if you get totally alkaline? And you get the sugar and all that bullshit out of your body. And uh, high fructose corn syrup and all this bullshit. They've created for us to destroy us. And you get on some Etal Vital and Whole Foods, some 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 kale and avocado and alkaline water and mangoes and motherfucking sea moss and herbs and right, your body is gonna respond. It's gonna do something it's never done before. In order to get to where you've never been, you gotta do some different shit. Straight up. Start really getting that ass off up in the gym and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Keep doing your squats. Keep doing your push-ups, your motherfucking burpees. Right? Keep running your suicides. 
and squ squatting and lifting and Pilates and yoga and transcendental. Going out in the morning, getting up, doing your deep breathing exercises and pranayama. And you get out and go barefoot in the earth and the grass and the soil and, 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 and touch some trees and commune with the earth. Watch what happens. Date you. Get you some flowers, sis. Go get you some, go get you some flowers. Take yourself out. Get cute. Put on your smell good. Get suited and booted. Date you. Love you. Court yourself. Commit to you. Uplift you. Pour into you. What are you reading? What are you watching? What are you listening to? How are you talking to yourself? How are you treating yourself? How are you nourishing yourself? Because I promise if you're not doing it for you, no one else will. It has to start with you. And then it will draw everything you've ever wanted to yourself. And the funny thing is, but by then, you won't even want or need any of it. That's the funny thing. When you pour so much into yourself, you'll start to attract people and you're showing them and demonstrating to them how they need to step to you. And how they need to come correct and not even fuck with you. Right? Love me or leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. If you're not adding to the equation, leave me the fuck alone. Right? After eons, here's what's happening. A funny, peculiar thing is happening in the cosmos and the stars and in geopolitically, right? On the geopolitical stage, on the galactic stage a lot of interesting things are happening right now and after eons and eons of being disconnected from higher dimensional frequencies our dna is awakening our dna is being altered in massive ways the original divine blueprint is 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 being restored and when you go beyond thought the universe starts downloading coded information right down into your third eye, right, right down into your pineal. The pineal is basically the gateway in the brain. Past the frontal lobe and above the hypothalamus, medulla oblongata, you have something called a pineal gland. And your pineal gland is so, it's awakening. It's opening. It's doing something different. And this is happening in all of us. This is happening on a collective stage. Stay with me. There is an ancient Egyptian proverb that says, True teaching is not an accumulation of knowledge. It is an awakening of consciousness which goes through successive states. It all begins and ends in your mind. What you give power to has power over you. Maria Sabina. Ancient. Old school. Mexican shaman. Who introduced psilocybin. Quote unquote magic mushrooms. To uh, you know. She introduced it to the white man. And they took that shit and ran with it and formulated it. But she said, cure yourself with the light of the sun and the rays of the moon. With the sound of the river and the waterfall. With the swaying of the sea and the fluttering of birds. Heal yourself. Heal yourself with mint, with neem and eucalyptus. Sweeten yourself with lavender, rosemary, and chamomile. Hug yourself with the cocoa bean and a touch of cinnamon. How many of you know cinnamon is a magical herb? But put love in tea instead of sugar and take it looking at the stars. Heal yourself with the kisses that the wind gives you and the hugs of the rain. Get strong with bare feet on the ground and with everything that is born from it. Get smarter every day by listening to your intuition. Get 
smarter every day by listening to your intuition. Looking at the world with the eye of your forehead. That's your third eye, baby. That pituitary. Pineal. All the glands are interconnected. The same way your, your chakras are aligned and they're interconnected and they depend on each other and they're part of the same school. They're, they're part of the same machinery, the same neighborhood. Same way with all of your glands. That's why when one, one thing starts malfunctioning, everything starts falling apart. Jump. Maria Sabina said, jump, dance, sing so that you live happier. Heal yourself. Heal yourself, heal yourself, heal yourself, heal yourself, heal yourself with beautiful love. And always remember, you are the medicine. You are the medicine. You are the medicine. You are the medicine, baby. You are the medicine. You are the medicine. It's you. We're more closely connected to the invisible than to the visible. And that's what I need everybody to understand. We're more closely connected to shit that we can never see. But we feel it. We experience it on an intuitive level. We, 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 we know it's there. But we can't touch it. We can't quite put our finger on it because it's not something you can see. It's not something tangible and, and hardened and solidified. It's, it's almost like it's like an energy. It's like a spirit. It's, it's see-through, right? But it's present. It's real. It takes up space. It's a common misconception that the shadow is home to the worst parts of ourselves. But really, this is not really like the real deal. The shadow is actually home to the rejected parts of yourself, of ourselves. The, the, the shit that somebody told you to be ashamed of. But it's you. That's the shadow. Somebody told you that's a sin. That's... Don't be like that. Don't act like that. Don't think like that. Don't sit like that. Don't ha don't hold your hand like that. Don't walk like that. We don't do that. That's the shadow. And so for this reason, the shadow is full of untapped potential and creativity. It's there, baby. That's where you really want to you want really want to tap into that. Cuz there's it's rich with resources. Quantum physics says, quantum physics says that as you go deeper and deeper into the workings of an atom, you see that there is nothing, just energy waves. It says an atom is actually an invisible force field, a kind of miniature tornado, which emits waves of electrical energy. See, we're 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 bioelectric organisms. We are electromagnetic. The sun is electric, the earth is magnetic. And we are the conductors. And so when you eat electric foods, you, you eat citrus fruits, you eat green leafy vegetables, the reason you're getting energy from them and nutrition and minerals and vitamins, right? Etc. 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 is because those nutrients were placed in that fruit or veggie or grain. From the sun. So the energy from the sun. Is transmitted into the fruit. And, and we eat the fruit. And then we get the energy. And then we. Our body naturally will. Convert it. Into usable. So you can run. You can talk. You can move and function. And build blood cells. And right. You with me. Just energy weight. Invisible force field. <laughs> it's the same with you. Us. Deeper you go within you. You'll realize. You're full of untapped potential. 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 And the worst thing you can do is sleep on your own potential. No matter what your current circumstances are. If you can imagine something better for yourself. Something grander for yourself. Something a little bit more stable for yourself then you can create it if you can imagine it you can create it suffering is how life tells you that you are resisting or misperceiving 
what's real and true. So anytime you find yourself in a situation where you're sad, you're depressed, you're angry, you're frustrated, you're anxiety written, you want to get out of this, you feel some kind of way, it's uncomfortable. Ask yourself, what is this teaching me, right? Don't just immediately want to rid yourself of the of the, of the feeling or the mood, but ask yourself, what's happening? What am I, what, what, what's the universe trying to teach me? What's God trying to teach me? What's my higher self trying to get me to see and receive? Because that's usually what's happening. It all begins and ends again in your mind. What you give power to has power over you. What is, what is it that you are affirming? What is it that you are speaking? What is it that you are parodying? What is it that you have on repeat? What is it that you keep on replay? What is it that you are believing? What is it that you are receiving? What is it that you are walking in? Bobby Hemmett said, your true purpose in life is to get back to your God self. To your God self. Anything short of that is a waste of time. All this other shit you're doing, because in the end, it's going to all come down to that. Really think about it. And so when your energy vibrates at a frequency that is in direct alignment with what the universe has been attempting to deliver your entire life, whether that's a better family life, whether that's a bigger bag, whether that's being able to travel the world, whether that's being able to have the love of your life, the kind of love that people read about in novels, right? Some notebook shit, some, right? Some fairy tale shit, but it's real for some people. You begin to live in the flow, in the flow and true love and, and wealth and health and miracles and healing and restoration. Miracles start to happen. Again, every day, this has been an ongoing thing for me. Show me a million miracles. Show me a million miracles. I'm looking for a million miracles every day. And I start to see them. If you look for them, you'll see them. You're going to find what you look for. You become a master of your life when you learn how to control where your attention goes. Value what you give your energy and time to. This world needs more people who are fully equipped and ready to deal with real life. Emotionally intelligent enough. Mentally stable enough. To deal with real world, real life complexity. Being bossed up is an energy. A spirit. It's bigger than money. Abundance. It's more than financial. It's great health. It's being able to take your kids to the dentist. Get their teeth fixed and cleaned. It's being able to afford private school, being part of an exclusive subset of the population. And it's something you can build into your life. You can manifest it for yourself. Everybody, you know, everyone doing it is telling us how to do it. Everybody who's reached a million, they'll tell you, this is how I made a million dollars. People who have found a way to touch a billion they have books and and you can just look at their life and you can just watch them and listen to the things they say and they'll tell you you can find out anything about anyone if you just shut the fuck up and listen to them because people show their hand all the time a shallow homo sapiens is someone who has no access to the dimension of depth within them the spacious presence. They are trapped only in the thinking mind. In the thinking mind. In the thinking mind. And, and the reason that's so scary you don't want to be there is because it's a shallow state of existence. And really, you can overthink. Because your mind will just keep going in circles. Because that's what it's supposed to do. Suffering is how life, again, tells you that you are resisting or misperceiving what is real and true. You 
don't have to suffer. Suffering is a choice. Suffering is an option. You don't even have to participate. You don't have to show up to suffer. Your experiences do not form you. You form yourself by understanding your experiences. When your energy vibrates again at a frequency that is in direct alignment with what the universe has been attempting to deliver your entire life, you begin to live in the flow. Don't break before your breakthrough. Don't you dare fucking fold. You hear me? Don't you dare fucking fold. This is a new year. You better get it. You got a lot of people to shit on this year. You got a lot of folks you need to show that you meant every fucking thing you said when you affirmed who you are. Show up and show us. That you said what the fuck you said. Show up and show us that you said what the fuck you said. Thank you so much. I need you guys right now today. When you go out into the world today. Look for a million miracles. Search for them. Ask for them. Talk to them. And you're going to start to see them pop up, bossed up, get them likes up. I need you to like, follow, subscribe, share. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, incredible, amazing, bossed up, 